Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. So, I have been an idiot and I recorded a whole episode of us building and my microphone wasn't turned on. So, um, yeah, what an idiot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done. It was nothing terribly exciting. Um, so we had a couple of things that I wanted to get done in the episode. So I wanted to get a sexual health clinic in. So I've got in this building here. So kind of like next to our parking lot. And what we've got in here is we've got a sexual health lab with a little sample storage area in there with two fridges. And then we've got this little area outside that kind of acts like a sample reception. Obviously it doesn't act that way in the game, but for visual purposes, it's kind of like a sample reception. And then we've got a little reception area over here, a small compact waiting room, two restrooms, a cleaning closet, and then two doctor's offices. And then obviously the main sexual health lab. So I've done some letters on the side here. I wanted to get sexual health clinic, but obviously there's nowhere near enough room for that. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And what I'm going to be doing is we'll follow a few patients' journeys through the clinic and hopefully get them all diagnosed and treated. So what else have I been doing? Right, so what I've done is I've popped in the nephrology or the urology clinic. I mean, they're not synonyms, you know, they're different things. Nephrology is kind of kidneys um, and renal and then urology is more the urinary tract and the bladder. So they're very similar, they're very interconnected, but they're not the same thing. So we've kind of copied this reception unit from downstairs and we've popped this up here and then I copied the general surgery clinic. So obviously this is like purple and blue themed and I've propped up here and then themed it red. Now red's not my favourite colour. My favourite colour is actually what most people would consider the opposite of red. Um, so I've tried to kind of change it out with a few things like the brown privacy screens and there's some blue chairs down here. So what we've done is we pop this in um, we've staffed up, we've zoned all of the rooms. Now, that's just the clinic. We do also have to think about the hospitalisation section. Now, I really value your guys' comments. You know, I hope you know that anyway. Uh, and what I want to do is I think it'll be good to get the hospitalisation for nephrology over here. These two wings are definitely not exact, but in similar size combined to this side of the hospital. So I think we could easily get the hospitalisation for urology, nephrology over here. Let me know what you think down below. We will leave that to the next episode. So as you can see, we have no patients here as of yet, but we've staffed up and zoned all of the rooms. So let's go down to sexual health clinic because I know we have some patients over here. So our doctors for today over here in sexual health are, we have Karen Miller and we have Lee Jackson. So let's get this ball rolling. So our first patient of the day, let me click on you please, is Sylvia Essex. <laughs> no comment. Right, so she's come in because she's been suffering from muscle and joint pain and fatigue. Um, so it's interesting why she thinks, or I don't think she has sexual health when the only symptoms we have are muscle and joint pain and fatigue. But anyway, let's take a look at this. So. The only sexual health diagnosis I can see here is HIV. We haven't got gynecology yet, but obviously they're also suggesting it could be menopause. I love that icon for menopause. That's a cool icon, isn't it? So she could have HIV. That, you know, it conforms with having fatigue, having muscle and joint pain. Obviously, we don't know her sexual history. Um, so we should be seeing a rash on, upon physical examination, a fever upon temperature measurements. Let's get those two done now. Where is temperature measurement? There we go. Uh, we should also see some swelling. We should see some sore throat via the oral cavity inspection. And obviously um, via the PCR testing, we should see some kind of um, hate, you know, human, oh, if I can speak, human immunodeficiency virus. So let's also just get that all scheduled. So that's PCR testing. Um, where is that? Does that make sense, PCR? Sampling of biological material for polymerase chain reaction analysis in a laboratory. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to comment because I'm no expert, but I struggle to think how PCR alone would detect HIV. So, let's get Sylvia into the room with um, 
Karen. That chair, I didn't know if that was going to collide, like if the patient wasn't going to be able to sit there because of this being too close to the desk. I know we're having the issue with the computer bug. I don't know why this happens. You turn around and it's absolutely fine. So I've absolutely no idea why that's bugging out. Okay, so we know that Sylvia's got um, HIV, so we're definitely going to be giving her the antiretrovirals. Obviously, that's very different to a vaccine, guys. You have to remember that. Um, I'm not going to rant. Oh, don't rant, Brad. Don't rant. Um, but a vaccine and an antiviral or an antiretroviral are two very different things. Um, I'm going to leave it at that as I'm going to go on a rant. Um, anyway, so Sylvia's got HIV, so she's going to have her antiretrovirals. Uh, we're going to do these as well just to see if we need to give her anything else. So like some pain meds will be good, some antipyretics should be good. So let's give her an ice wrap. Oh, for the muscle pain. Uh, let's give her, let's give her all of it. Let's just be nice. So we also have Lee Jackson. Uh, no, not Lee Jackson. That's the doctor. We had Oscar Woods. So Oscar is either suffering from HPV, so human papilloma virus, mu molluscum contagiosum or syphilis so you know lots of those um, diseases and infections have similar symptoms such as the genital sores which we know that Oscar is suffering from so let's make sure we also get some antibiotics for those sores now what we want to see is HPV genital screening wow okay groin examination Right, so let's do that first, that kind of like groin examination, because we want to get the kind of like the low invasive or the minimal invasive test done first. So groin, has he had that done? Biopsy, groin exam, he has had that done. So what about physical exam he's had done? Physical exam he's had done, so it could be the syphilis, because you know we're getting more of like the fever. Has he had a, he has a temperature? Well, that's interesting. Let's do... Hmm. That's very interesting. So it could be this. Genital... No, because he's had a genital screening. Oh, no, he hasn't. Sorry, no, he hasn't. Genital screening analysis. Where is that on my lovely list? On my lovely list. Uh, there's so many more things to select now. Genital screeners. Let's get that genital screening done. Because that's going to show if we have some kind of um, MC detection. Um, and then we've got serological testing to see if we've actually got the syphilis. Have we done serological? It's actually being done as we speak. Okay, cool. So we've also had this lady here who's actually been treated by the looks of it. So we had Kate Briggs, kind of a pubic lice. Lovely, Kate, lovely. So that's kind of the sexual health clinic. Um, and then I think we'll follow Oscar's journey. So let's get, let's say that Oscar's going to be um, controlled by us. Now, is anyone coming along to our nephrology clinic? Looks very quiet in here. I used the general surgery clinic prefab because I thought we were going to be getting loads of patients because when I'd done the kind of the first look video at um, urology, nephrology, we were getting loads of patients, but it must have just been a busy, uh, a busy hospital, I assume, because we have had basically like no no patients, I don't think. So Oscar, what's happening with Oscar? He's had procedures have finished. Oh, I mean, okay. Serological, and it did not detect syphilis. Wow, okay. Um, so this would have been, should have been seen by physical exam. This, I think, it, I think it's gonna be HPV. No, genital screening, no. Oh my lord. Um, okay. So I don't really know what we can do. Am I just, am I being dumb? So HPV, you need physical exam and genital screening. We've done that and it's seen nothing. Now obviously that doesn't mean there's nothing there. It could just mean that, uh, yeah, finish did not re reveal anything. Okay, well that's interesting. Let's do like a pelvic exam. Um, a woman's reproductive organs, okay maybe not. Breast inspection, testis palpitation, 
doctor is not qualified to prescribe. So if we if we got like mammogram, if we got something like uh, a evaluation differential diagnosis, let's do that because Oscar is just completely baffling me to be honest. I think he's going to go and use the loo. Then why he's going to go over here because we've got a restroom within the sexual health clinic. But okay. So whilst we're waiting for him to go in, let's have a look at this gentleman, Jean Lopez. So you could have epididymitis, mycoplasma genitalium, or prostatitis. I know my pronunciation is not going to be right, but do you know what, guys? I don't care. I don't care. So. Genital discharge. We are doing the groin examination as we speak. Physical exam. Um, temperature we're going to want to do to see if he's got a fever. This is a blood test. Let's. Oh, actually, no, let's wait for that. Urine analysis. Genital swab. Well, genital swab I don't reckon is too bad, is it? Where's genital swab? Medium. Okay, so we'll leave that. Um, just use if ah uh, yeah so we already know what's wrong so he's got prostatitis so that's inflammation swelling of the prostate gland so we're going to want to give him some antibiotics to deal with that inflammation so let's also give him some analgesics for the pain hidden symptoms so we could be seeing some abdominal pain so let's do an abdomen palpitation that's being done and then the blood test so I think it's going to be worth doing the blood test what would we our antibiotics which i think we're already going to give him aren't we so not going to give we can't give any more treatments to gene if we do the more invasive test so there's no point doing it we know it's that so i'm happy with that right oscar let's take a look my friend are we going to have any more inclination of what's wrong with you oscar if we're going to do some evaluations and some differential diagnoses no ah now that's interesting. So genital screening is one of the examinations, but the actual analysis is a separate one. So we could still get the analysis come back to us saying that he could um, have the HPV. Is it HPV? Yeah. Okay. The human pampiloma virus. Okay. Interesting. So whilst we wait, it looks like Stella is pretty sure she's got gonorrhea. So let's give her some antibiotics and we know all of her symptoms. So yeah, let's also, also make sure that she's rehydrated. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I think we're going to leave Oscar until we get the screening back. Uh, we've actually got a patient collapsing, Susan, pneumothorax. So she needs to go for her foreign thesis. Let's give her all of these other little bits and bobs. That should help. Um, we have not got tachycardia, but we could have collapsed lung and cyanosis. So we've done the physical exam. We're doing the x-ray chest, so we should see that. Um, when it comes apart. Jean Lee, what's wrong, Jean? My good friend, Jean, what's wrong with you, Jean? So we haven't got gynecology, that's, that's a lot though. So let's do things like temperature, that should whittle it down. We've done that. Right, so let's, let's start from the top. Oh my God, there's so many things it could be. So it could be a calculus in the bladder. So let's do some type of urine analysis, I think. Let's get that started. Where's urine analysis? There we go. It could be something like abdominal palpitation. We've done that, didn't show anything. Can't be gynecology or oncology. Um, abdomen palpitation we've done. Biopsy, I don't want to do a biopsy unless absolutely necessary. But it might be that, you know, that is our, our next thing to do is the biopsy. Let's see, where is it? biopsy, biopsy sampling. Let's do that and let's see what's wrong with Gene. Okay, right, so is anyone up in nephrology? Yes, we've got here Rob. So Rob's come in, he's suffering from abdominal pain, penis discharge, vomiting. So looks like he is suffering from inflammation of the epididymis. So that's quite a simple one to kind of sort out because we know that he's going to be, um, you know, need some antibiotics, some analgesics, some NSAIDs, all that kind of good stuff. So Rob was quite an easy one. Now, we've not got many patients up here, really. It's a pretty quiet day up here in nephrology. 
So I think it's best to go back down to sexual health. Is Oscar just going to sit here whilst we wait for this genital screening analysis? I mean, there's not much more we can do. Let's just pop him on control by doctors because that means that we can um, get him back out. Might do a few more tests possibly. Um, but yeah, Oscar's proven to be very tricky. Is that is that Oscar again? Yeah. Oh, it's HPV. So the analysis came back um, positive. HPV report, so that's when a doctor gives recommendations and stuff like that on how to live with human papilloma virus. So I think that means there's no vaccine uh, to prevent uh, you know, patients getting it. So Oscar couldn't have got a vaccine in the past to help him not contract the disease. I'm not sure. I, I think there is a vaccine. Um, but what it does mean is I imagine that there's no entry, oh, if I can speak, antivirals to help with that HPV. Okay, but again, it seems pretty quiet here in the sexual health clinic. Okay, so we have a patient here in our nephrology clinic. So we are working with Joseph Murphy. So Joseph's come in with a few symptoms like frequent urination, fever, vomiting, um, some swollen and tender epididymis. So he's suffering a little bit, poor old Joseph. So he's either got inflammation of the epididymis or he's got this type, which... Um, what's different? Males of any age can get epididymitis or chitis, although it's more common in younger um, men. Okay, well, I can't see what the difference is. At the back of the testicle. Okay, right, let's just have a look at what we can see. So, let's have a look at his abdomen, which we're doing right now. So the difference is going to be things like the urine. So, if he has orchitis, there will be hematuria in the bl well, basically blood in the urine so let's also do a urine test there we go urine analysis so what else here we also have a matospermia so is that blood yeah blood in the semen okay so let's have a look at we just find an interview okay physical exam abdominal testis palpitation that saw nothing, urine analysis, interview, abdomen, physical exam, interview, urine analysis. Okay, so I think it is going to take the urine analysis for us to find out fully what's wrong with Joseph. So let's put him on controlled by me. Now we've also got Dennis Young. So Dennis is suffering from some kind of like kidney, ter oh, kidney stone rather, or U UTI, urinary tract infection. So let's get rid of all of that. So the difference here is going to be a few things like the back pain. So let's do physical exam. Yeah, let's also do. I mean, what's the difference here? Um, OK, so differential diagnosis. So CT will show us if he's got kidney stones. So let's make sure he goes down for his CT at some point, please. Thank you. Um, temperature measurement, let's just do that, although that is common with all of these different types of conditions. Well, so we've got hematuria, so let's do a urine test. There we go. Again, we'll pop him on player control. So he'll pop off, he'll go and give his samples to the lab, and hopefully when these guys come back, then we can do some further tests and kind of work out from the analysis what is wrong with them. Okay, so the lab procedure uncovered a symptom. So it looks like that Joseph is suffering from epididymitis, um, not orchitis. So he just needs some antibiotics. Uh, we'll give him everything. We'll be nice, we'll give him everything. And that'll be Joseph, controlled by doctors. Then that's Joseph done. That's Joseph done. How is Dennis going on? He's just had his CT, I think. So he should be coming up to the doctor's office to get those results looked at. Whilst he's up here, we will try and rehydrate um, Dennis as well at the same time. So let's see what happens. He's going to go into the room. Do we know what's wrong with Dennis? Still not sure. No, we're still not sure. So I imagine it's going to be the urine analysis that's really going to be indicative for Dennis to let us know what's wrong with him. So 
what we will do is we will wait until a lab test has been done as soon as it has I assume it's going to get a sample right now as soon as that analysis has been done we can take a look at Dennis once more okay so Dennis is back so let's have a look do we know no okay so do we need to do some kind of analysis here I don't know if these then need to be analyzed I'm not too sure so what else we would have seen back pain during the physical exam abdominal pain we've looked at we've looked at the urine analysis we've done temperature we've done that we've done that we've done that we've done the CT we've done the CT differential diagnosis is what we are ah, microbial cultivation as well well let's do let's do a differential let's do an evaluation and differential and then if we're still not sure then we'll do that microbial cultivation through the night because um, it's currently approaching 7 p.m okay so now we've got two so it looks like if we do this microbial cultivation we can see if he has a bladder infection so microbial cultivation where are thou there you go microbial sampler so let's get Dennis over to the lab he's um, gonna go and take his sample over there for them to test and then as soon as we have the results we'll be back and have a look at what's wrong with mr. Dennis Young Hey, so we've just got the results back from the lab and it is confirmed that Dennis Young is going to be suffering from a UTI or urinary tract infection so he is simply going to need some antibiotics for that so let's follow him up to the doctor's office within nephrology or urology and we'll just make sure that he's getting all of the drugs that he needs Harvey Gunn has came in he's actually got that so let's sort Harvey out okay now oh, Dennis is hopefully going to be seen by I thought I got someone in on night shift or did I not I must have dreamt it so let's go for let's go for Sasha Wallace and then what we're going to do is yeah Sasha is going to be dealing with Dennis there we go he's going to have some antibiotics lovely jubbly He's now gone to chair. No, you, you can just go home now. No, 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 no. Just, just go home, Dennis. Just go home. Okay, so there we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the episode today. Very much looking forward to filling these spaces with our urology and nephrology hospitalisation rooms in our next episode. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day see you later